Do we have sound? Testing, one, two, three. Testing, 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 testing. We're testing. We're back. We're going to start from scratch. Let's just start from scratch, no problem. No problem, we'll start from scratch. So let's go ahead and start from scratch like a, like a redone. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. We have a, do we have sound? I'm, I, do we have sound? This is a brand new, this is live show, so you know stuff happens here. This isn't a pre-record, if it were, hey, everybody would be doing it, right? Okay, all right, we're gonna start from scratch. Absolutely a technical problem, and you know we have a live show here. Yeah, all right, you're all fired! <laughs> Okay, cut it. All right, we're going to start from scratch here. Welcome aboard to the new Steve Henry Show. And we're just like, it's 4 o'clock somewhere. All right, so let's get back on track. And we've got sound. Sorry about that, loved ones. Uh, again, a live show. We, we have some new camera equipment. We're testing out for the very first time. You're going to see uh, some benefits to that. So it's going to be really, really cool. If you are new to the Steve Henry Show, we spend $200, sometimes two, sometimes three, sometimes four, sometimes five, $200. All you got to do in the comment section is go and put your name in there and say hey Steve I'm here what that does that puts your name in there a little red tag they bring it to me at about 4 30 today it's gonna be about 4 45 and we're gonna spin that bad boy and I'm gonna send some checks out we did four last week I hope everybody got their check we also give a Jeep away here every 10 weeks or so we give a Jeep Patriot away and that is this week it's gonna be or next week is gonna be the actual spin that's February 12th live here in the studio you don't want to miss it it's a blue Jeep I've been driving that baby around beautiful actually it's a four-wheel drive I haven't revealed that yet but it's a bonus you'll get a four-wheel drive in this bad boy just in time for winter we had a snowstorm hit us here on Wednesday of this week and it just handled so beautifully so somebody next week live on the show I'm gonna pull that name out and you will drive a Jeep home in about two weeks as we deliver it to your very front door uh, some of the other benefits uh, it's a cooking show by God yes a cooking show we are in a three-part series part two of a three-part series called love is in the air we did the uh, rotisserie meatloaf last year or last month last week how about last week? Uh, if you've been married a long time, Jack uh, and Jill went up the hill, you know that story. Well, they've been married 25 years. What do you do for 25 years? Well, you, you, you do uh, your favorite meal. Well, how can I do that? You watch the Steve Henry Show. We not only did meatloaf, we did rotisserie meatloaf. What a great recipe. I hope you guys get to try that because it was very, very good. Now, this brings us to our second series. It is, if you've been married one to five years, what do we do? We go out. Oh, yes, we go out. Well, I don't know. Wait a minute. A statistic I read in the paper this morning, not very pretty. 17% of the nighttime element population, if you will, roaming the streets out there, could be in your city too or your town, is doing a criminal activity. Can you believe that? 17%, 17 out of 100. So if you're looking around a restaurant and there's 100 people in there, 17 people are probably up to no good. So who wants to go out anymore? Well, you don't have to because you're tuning in today to the new Stephen Lee Show, we are going to prepare a meal that you would have anywhere out, a nice place, a, a hotel perhaps, or a nice fine dining establishment. It is going to be a beautiful bacon-wrapped filet mignon topped with asparagus, crab legs, and a sauce bernaise. She will make the sauce, he will make the steak, or maybe you can do it flip-flop, it doesn't really matter. But nonetheless, both of you together are gonna to prepare a meal in the home that you would spend a couple hundred dollars out shopping and do it right there in the home. It's gonna be great. Typically, on this show, our menus consist of six. So you do something for six people, you invite your boss over, your friends over, your family over. But this series is strictly for two because it takes two to tango. And let's not go any farther than that. I know how you're taking. All right, so the presentation, that's, uh, that's the last part. The preparation goes in the middle and the education. The education of this meal, uh, this is a meal that is pretty popular. Like I said, the filet bacon wrapped uh, crab leg asparagus bearnais. It's about a $35 to $75 plate on the average. If you go to a real fine dining place, there's places in New York and uh, some other places that uh, will charge you a lot more than that. But you're going to do it in the house and for doing it for less than $100 bucks, and have an elegant, romantic dinner. That's right. So. Without further ado, I have got a couple of announcements to make in addition to that. So if you are new to the show, we spend for 200 bucks four, five, six times. Ooh, six, I'd say six. Or uh, we uh, give a Jeep away every 10 weeks. Uh, we also say that this is your show. It's not my show. It starts with God. God is the one that creates. Is that a mirror on my ceiling? What in the world have you guys done? You know, they, 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 the reason why I had, we had no sound for 15 minutes, we had new cameras. I mean, I spent you know, a lot of money getting some new equipment in here. Uh, yeah, I should have tested it. I think we did. But nonetheless, I just saw a mirror on the ceiling. Now, that is kind of kinky. That must go with the presentation. It does. All right, it does. But that's kind of weird. <laughs> 
you could probably try that at the dinner table too. That might work. Anyway, some announcements. Uh, that is the, the Jeep giveaway, the $200 giveaway. Uh, we take a regular menu item, an entree item, and we glorify it. Like meatloaf, we make rotisserie meatloaf out of. Uh, you know, we just glorify that item. Now, these items are available or becoming available on our website, thenewstevehenryshow.com. That is exciting. We have done two digital download uh, nights after work. We have taken and precisely, everyone's asking, well, how much did he put in there? What? Okay, that will be in a digital download, the exact recipe of everything that you've seen here on the show. These are 48 now cooking show recipes. You'll be able to download those. We're gonna give a special way like 99 cents for the first 30 days or something like that. But bottom line is, You'll have this in your archive, so you can actually prepare this to the point of perfection as seen on the show. Not as seen on TV, but as seen on YouTube. Pretty cool. Uh, that, that's what we're going to do. I have in my formerly nicotine stained fingers a box that came back from Emily and Rick. Rick77, Emily, if you're watching today, which I think I saw you scroll by, uh, I've got this back. I know you guys moved, but please do me a favor. Uh, if we don't have it already, I need that new address so I can send you that mug. <clears throat> a lot of you receive that mug with a uh, little money in it. Yeah, we give away. Uh, again, it starts with God. He, he, he just, just makes me think at night, wow, that's cool. I think I can do that. This doesn't come from me, it comes from him. And the beautiful thing is I deliver it onto you. And so everything that comes through this show is ultimately gonna be passed on to you. And that includes a lot of money. Um, we don't keep anything here. Uh, as I mentioned, this show, I hope, will be one of the first YouTube shows, channels, that actually gives everything back literally to the audience because it's you without you we have no show and i haven't told you yet we have a tremendous amount of numbers brewing there that is awesome by the way when we reach uh you know that record number and i'm looking for a hundred and that's coming real soon we're gonna have some kind of celebration but nonetheless it's gonna be awesome all right so we cook here that's what we do we're gonna get underway and start the cooking we are gonna start off with a sauce bernays as i mentioned this is going to drape over the filet mignon and create a perfect steak now the sauces are uh, comprised of five sauces. If you've followed the show, you know there are five sauces that are uh, out there. They have the bechamel, that's the white sauce, the brown sauce, the tomato sauce, the hollandaise sauce, and of course, the, uh, the beautiful sauce of the mother nature. Uh, the Bernays sauce is a uh, recipient or a child of the hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise sauce, um, sauce charon, which is a tomato reduction. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, uh, sauces that you can make that emanate from the hollandaise. Today it's going to be a lovely sauce Bernays. And like I said, this is a team effort. So he can do the sauce, she can do the sauce. Uh, these, again, recipes are going to be available. Don't fret, don't freak. They will be available online on our digital download. But the camera and part of our volume issue was the fact that we had no cameras in the back showing the food as it is now. Today, you should be seeing a beautiful clarified picture of exactly what's happening. I am taking a very dangerous move uh, I don't recommend a lot of people doing this but until you actually get this down when you take your egg yolks your lemon juice and your little bit of water and about eight yolks in this and we're gonna begin to make our sauce hollandaise as I mentioned that is our mother sauce to the sauce bernaise which is gonna drape over that filet mignon. Now, the secret here is not to burn. You certainly do not want in any way, shape or form to have a uh, egg scrambled concoction on your bowl or in your bowl. Now, a lot of people use a double boiler. Some people open up a package of North Swiss, uh, yeah, right, powder, add a little water. You're going to get the actual, what it is, what it shall be, and what it will be, sauce bernaise. And this is, um, we've done eggs benedict on the show before. And I've showed you how to make this, but again, with a direct burner without a double boiler, one has to be extremely cautious, extremely cautious, not to overcook those eggs. We're looking for a nice bleach effect, and obviously the thickening of the egg. We don't want to have any botulism here. Uh, not on this show, by the way. So uh, we want to cook these eggs to where they start steaming a little bit, and we have some color distortion, uh, some bleach, if you will, some whiteness in, in that yolk. And so that's what's happening here. You can see that uh, transforming here right now. We will surely add some butter. Uh, and again, there's enough lemon and uh, we'll put the red flake in there to give it a little zing, zang, zoom. Love is in the air, everywhere you look around. Remember that one? All right, Josh and Jazzy, you are going to be parents to a baby girl come soon. Thank you, congratulations. That will be, could be second, third, or possibly even fourth baby born on the show. Uh, Rick and Emily 777 had Alicia a couple months ago, and that was a nice surprise. Uh, we had that back, uh, that uh, beautiful uh, transformation back in November, I believe. And so, uh, congratulations go out to Josh and Jazz. 
Uh, hello to Dorothy and Michael. You finally have found the vehicle of your dreams. Compliments of Exodus Auto Sales. Thank you so much for being a participant of that. Uh, that effort. I want to say Stephanie and Arnaldo, they were Jeep winners number four. They are out there in Chicago not feeling well today. I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, Laura, Laura Holka, my old friend from way back. I hope you're watching today. If you are, you got to see our first big blunder. Yeah, our big blunder. Uh, no sound for just a tad bit of time, but that's okay. All right, we got to see that. See that? Oh, that's gorgeous. That is a beautiful rendition right there of the hollandaise sauce, uh, egg turning hollandaise sauce. Now what we're going to do, we're going to slowly incorporate the butter. Now the butter has to meet the egg yolk at a precise point, and we're talking just a couple drops. Now they have to get acquainted. This is the, a very crucial point because if they don't get acquainted, what will happen or sure to happen is you could have a separation. The last thing you want in a good relationship, love, or marriage or any type is separation separation you don't want separation so we uh, are very careful to make sure that doesn't happen on a tv tray yes you'll see some very primitive things here at the um, at the cooking show and one of them is the uh, the fact that we cook on a portable burner and tv trays and all kinds of stuff we do not use anything conventional you will not see a kitchen here in fact we are so true to our word we even took at one point a burner out with a tailgate and we cooked some pasta in the mountains and we showed you the portableization of this show pretty crazy and it's really crazy all right so we are making that hollandaise sauce that butter has said yes to the egg yolk we have a relationship here that's going to last for at least a half an hour now again you got to keep the perfect temperature going we have some very warm water we keep that thin down because you don't want that too thick I'm going to try to put that where everybody can see it. I'm just experimenting now because, like I said, we have some new cameras. We have some butter. Let's go ahead with some more butter, and we'll pour that butter in there. And again, the last thing we're looking for is separation. We do not want separation. We want consistency. Now, have you decided who's going to make the sauce? Is it going to be her or him? As you can see, it is everything. If you don't have the precise sauce going here, it could be a problem. And so you want to make sure... <clears throat> That, that sauce comes together perfectly and right now I can tell you per egg yolk and butter we are just about there I'm gonna probably call that quits while I'm ahead put that right there that is a perfect ladies and gentlemen loved ones as we like to say on this show a perfect consistency I'll just put this I know we got cameras everywhere it's kind of hard to say but look at that that is velvet that is smooth that has got the perfect lemon and uh, butter and egg yolk combination. Now, um, some people like a little zing zang in their zing zang. We're gonna do that with a little red pepper crush. Now, a lot of people will put cayenne pepper. You could do that, but it dissolves and it kind of goes away. We like a little crushed red pepper and the reason for that is uh, you'll get to see it. Hey, wow, what is that? We'll bite into it. Wow, zing zang, yeah, zing zang. So we'll fold that in there and that'll just kind of give that a little, a little bite. It goes well with the lemon. And so if you're making eggs Benedict in the morning, maybe she stays over. No, wait a minute, you've been married one to five years. We don't do that anymore. We're gonna do that next week. And next week, you don't wanna miss the final part of next week. It is called, Will You Marry Me? And let me tell you, you gotta do that with food and you don't do it with anything else. Yeah, in the old days, we kinda did some other things, but food is where it's at. So if you are looking to propose to your loved one next week or in the short near future, you're gonna wanna watch next week because we are preparing a meal that is a, we call it the, the proposal plate. You put it down in front of them and they look at it and they'll say, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? And then lift off the final one. It'll come to them right away by step number three. There'll be three phases in this broth entree. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so we have their perfect sauce. What and how do you make a Bernays sauce? You make it with a reduction of tarragon and vinegar with a little shallot. And what we do here is we take a mortar and a pestle. This is like 35,000 BC. You realize the pre-Roman, we're talking Southwest Asia, not East, Southwest Asia, uh, invented this with stone. They took their favorite herb or whatever they did. They probably rolled it up and smoked it, but nonetheless, uh, for this purpose of food, we have the tarragon. Now the tarragon will go in there uh, and it's a dried tarragon leaf. We'll crush it with that mortar and pestle and then we'll put it into a skillet of vinegar and we'll reduce that with some shallot. And what that does is it makes what they call sauce bernaise. What is sauce bernaise? Sauce bernaise is a hollandaise. That's that mother sauce that I told you about. Uh, and that is nothing more than a reduction of tarragon leaves and uh, some vinegar with a shallot. Now that all gets incorporated in there nicely like that. And if you've ever seen a sauce Bernays before, that is exactly what it looks like. A speckled, it looks like cracked pepper or something. But that is a beautiful, look at that 
gorgeous sauce béarnaise. And I can assure you the flavor of that uh, concoction is incredible. Now, uh, we don't uh, decide or we have decided who's going to do the steaks. That is a pre-done because of time constraints. But again, you will see this live on our digital downloads. We are going to now prepare the filet mignon, which we have set aside here. These are beautiful six ounce filet mignons that you can buy anywhere. This is prime, by the way, prime beef. Uh, what makes prime uh, versus uh, USDA grade uh, cutter or canned or call or choice? It is the marble content and just the quality of the beef. But uh, I mean, you can't go wrong with a filet mignon, the most tenderest part of the animal, uh, the bovine animal. Uh, but nonetheless, it's also a prime grade, which means the marbling content, the aging process, and the factors of its origin of, of uh, its life has been flawlessly maintained, probably fed a beautiful corn grain and so on and so forth. So it's not only going to be beautiful and tasty, but it's going to be the best you ever had. And that's what we strive for here. But you can get a filet mignon uh, of any grade and bacon wrap it like we did here. Uh, you can stuff them. I, you know, I'm going to lay the topping so you can see it, but you can stuff it with the crab legs. So this will go into our skillet. Uh, all we put down here is just a little bit of olive oil, just a tad. And what that does is just basically we're going to pan sear that. And uh, the secret seasonings, if you are going to be a purchaser of the digital downloads, we did reveal exactly the four ingredients that comprise our uh, beautiful Steve Henry secret seasonings. And we're gonna just sprinkle a little on those on the top there. And so if we haven't decided who is making the steaks yet, it's time to do that because they need to step over and take possession. So what we're doing is the presentation portion. This is very careful uh, because everything has to go perfect, the sauces and so on. But we, our ultimate goal is the presentation uh, after the preparation. And look at this presentation. Now, you can go get a mirror for $4. You can dress it with the rose leaves and you can make your own roses. We're going to have a video that shows you exactly how to make all this. The purpose of this is to have everything edible or as close to edibility as possible. Is that a word? I don't know. Is that a word? Edibility is a word. Yes, you look it up. So when you go to have a meal from the Steve Henry Show and you see a little bunny rabbit, yeah, it's probably made out of an olive. Or if you see a palm tree, it's made out of a carrot and pine leaves. I mean, everything we do here, we try, attempt to make it edible. So this presentation, this is, uh, this is going to be kind of the raw. Ouch. That bit me. Did you see it by me? All right. So we're going to turn that down just a tad. That bacon can be splattery. Turn that down just a tad. We're going to brown those over and turn these over. You don't, um, you can cook these, you know, to any temperature internally. Uh, some people like their meat rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, well. Uh, I don't recommend the medium well or well uh, because you have to butterfly it. Butterflying is a whole different process. We're going to maintain these in a medium rare to kind of medium fashion so it's pink when you cut into it in the middle there. But our, our ultimate goal, loved ones, is to have a presentation like this. And again, a simple little mirror, um, that's all it takes. We have some rose leaves, we have some asparagus, keep it fresh with a little water spray, nothing wrong with that. Keep that nice and fresh. Now that water will dry off the mirror and you wanna just keep that fresh, it's about an hour old. But, um, oh, the mirror, yes. If there's any hanky-panky going on, we can see it from up there. That was pretty cool, I don't know who thought of that, but I like that idea of the mirror up there. Uh, that is quite romantic. In one to five years, there should still be a lot of zang in that zing. Okay, so look at that presentation. Again, the lemon will uh, actually suffice for something as well. That we're gonna pour our little bit of butter in. Again, everything is edible. We do not use like a clay ramekin or anything. That's strictly butter. And that is going to be for dipping your crab legs, should you so desire, if the sauce doesn't cut it. Now, I guarantee you the sauce will cut it, but uh, some people like to dip their uh, crab leg in a little butter. Asparagus on the side, that's a little steamed, but wait till you taste this. This is gonna be incredible, loved ones, with the sauce. And again, I can't remind you enough of that sauce. Now this sauce does comprise itself of butter, and the butter, if it gets too cold, is gonna set up. You don't wanna keep this in a cold place. You wanna keep it kind of in a warm a room temperature, or otherwise, again, you're gonna have that separation. And the last thing we want in a love fest is separation. That's pretty cool. Uh, you got that in food too. So you can turn this over a couple times. Uh, turning it over doesn't hurt it. You just want to keep the bacon uh, and everything still intact. How do you do that, Steve? Well, again, uh, that's done with toothpicks, but again, you can see the brown is taking place here. We're at a nice rare formation right now. Get rid of some of these dirty dishes here. And uh, so if you haven't subscribed, you need to do that. If you're going to be a winner on this show and win that $200 spin, by the way, you got about five minutes to put that name together. Uh, and get in the comment section and say, hey, Steve-o, I'm here. That allows us to put your name in there. We have somebody working diligently on getting that together. We've got about, uh, wow, very good. A very good number today. 
And when we put that together, they'll bring the spinner in here, we'll spin, and I'll write some checks out on Monday uh, and get ready for that big spin next week because that's going to be an impromptu spin. We're literally going to reach right in there and voila, whoever we pull out is whoever we pull out. Mickey Mouse, hey, it's going to be a great show. Normally we vet a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, they have to be 18, they have to have a license, they have to live in the United States, da 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 da, -da. Michelle in Canada, hey, I have attempted to send you a mug with a hundred bucks in it, and guess what? We had customs roll that baby back. Um, I've got to get with you and figure out a way to, anything, I guess, uh, uh, through a special customs process. I didn't know that. So, um, Michelle is our only uh, candidate that lives, or board of director, or whoever you want to call her. She's important to this show. Uh, and for the most part, uh, we have her as a winner. She's a big winner. Here comes that spinner. Just bring that in. I'm just going to put that on the floor for right now because we are just about done. I'm going to turn off the burner. We are a nice medium rare temperature. I'm going to set the table and the plate. I'll take that actually. Go ahead and grab me that spinner. Thank you so much. This has all the names in it, loved ones, uh, of today's show. Um, anybody who actually, as I said, came past and put into the comment section, I am here, is in the spin here. I'm just going to make a heck of a mess, but hey, a $200 spinner. All right, now we are going to take one of these stakes. We're going to put it in the proper place and I'm going to spin that right here in that on a carousel. We're going to take that and just properly place that in the place it needs to be put. We're going to put our crab legs on the top. Uh, we're going to leave our asparagus on the side. So first of all, before I sauce that, that is a beautiful, see the steam rolling off that? Medium rare, oh my lord, with the crab legs. Now again, you can dip that in crab uh, oil uh, that we put there, or you can be just uh, delightful and just take the sauce. So the sauce, typically we would have put a puddle down. If it's anything but an egg sauce, we would have put a puddle down below that steak and then put the steak on top of the puddle. The puddle being just a little drop or a dribble of the sauce itself. Because it's egg, we don't want, again, separation. The heat coming off that steak would separate the oil from the egg or the butter from the egg. So now what we're gonna do is just drape ever so gently over the top of that, that beautiful sauce bernaise. And that, loved ones, is the most delicious. You, you would spend out in the town, let me spin that around, you would spend, oh, I don't know, with a glass of champagne or uh, a, a, a nice bottled water or your favorite beverage, adult, or whatever it may be, uh, along with an entree such as this, you'd spend yourself between $35 and $75. You can make this at home for probably less than $30, maybe $25, and have the whole thing. Uh, when I say that, you know, with tip and, and, and Uber and all that stuff, and don't forget those 17 people out there lurking around, whoa, are burning up, uh, could be a problem. So. In the privacy and the confines of your own home, you can literally prepare this. Oh my God, that is just, I'm gonna spin that around one more time on, on our carousel here. Those are just everything edible. We have scallions, we have the asparagus, we have the, the tomato rosettes of different sizes, and we have that beautiful six ounce filet, bacon wrapped, crab leg laid, and sauce draped with that Bernays sauce. And trust me, when you go to cut into that and take that first bite, heaven. In heaven. It's beautiful. So there you have it. And so, without further ado, we do spin here, as I mentioned on the show, for two hundred dollars. I love to send out those checks. Again, I apologize for our. Oh, no, I'm just teasing. It's working, baby. Yeah. Uh, when, whenever you try new things, technologically especially, uh, some things go wrong. And trust me, we have taken the liberty of getting the best equipment we possibly can. Uh, ordered in this week. We have some more coming. We're going to literally knock out this wall. We're going to take. Uh, who knows the name of this person's office? I have Wilcox here. Dave is not with us today. Dave Wilcox, Tori, if you're watching, we love you, buddy, and we miss you. Uh, but uh, we're going to literally knock out this wall. We're going to make another uh, another studio. We're using that studio. Okay, Steve, will you stop talking and get to the money? Yes, I will. Here we go. Steve, right one. Spin number one. Okay, as we're spinning, you can see those things are spinning around. And we'll come to a stop. This is for the first $200. We love giving money away. Again, this is your show. God makes it happen through me, but it is your show. Everything, everything, everything goes to you. We are going to open this up, and I'm just going to pull out. Uh, I'm going to pull out three today. Just three right now. I may go back for more. Uh, I can do that. I can go back for seconds. Okay, so we are about to give $200 away three times, I guess it is. Three times today, and uh, in preparation for that Jeep next week. Now, if you happen to be a spin win next week on $200, bucks, i will put the name back in there, and you can win a Jeep too. Can you imagine that? Winning $200 and a Jeep? My God, you'd have gas for probably the next couple days. <laughs> Just kidding. It is getting kind of crazy. Oil did hit 91 bucks a barrel in New York on Friday. That is going to emanate, translate, uh, proliferate to probably about, in our town, four bucks a gallon, which is high. I know a lot of you are paying more. So get on with it, Steve! Yes, I will. 
All right, the first one. Oh my God, Merck. I haven't seen you for a while. Merck, Merck, Merck ass. And I don't want to ruin your name and say it wrong, but Merck ass, you know who you are. I know who you are. Congratulations, my good friend. You are the recipient of the first $200 Victoria spin here at the new Steve Henry Show. And by the way, the new Steve Henry Show, you got to subscribe. You got to hit that bell. Um, and by the way, by the way, you got to watch those videos. How we, um, how we reduce uh, cost and, and bring that profit in is by you, you watching videos. And go to the right side, those suggested videos, that's the ones you need to click. The more you click of those, the more YouTube says, oh, we got it right. We suggested it and they clicked it. Wow. And they're going to do it more and more. It's a proliferation like a domino theory. So I ask you, please, to go to that right side, hit those suggested videos, because when you do, it's going to come back to you. I promise you. The return on your investment will, will, will make it happen. The, all, the other thing is he has those pesky commercials instead of hitting skip, 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 skip. If you could just kiss it and watch the video uh, through the commercial, that makes all the difference in the world too. And again, it all comes back to you. It's a very simple process. The more we do that, the more you get. And I'm not keeping, you know, these pockets are empty, as you can tell. By the way, how do you like my apron, Stephanie? Huh? You like that? We have ordered, uh, Stephanie, uh, I guess we're relatives somehow. Um, mother said her brother or something, cousin. Anyways, she got this for me for Christmas. I went ahead and ordered 25 of these, so I'm gonna be giving these away. Uh, they'll be available for sale, but I, you know me, I'm gonna give probably 10 away. I hope to have them next week. Jeeps, aprons, $200. Um, we're just gonna have a give fest next week. Thanks to you, loved ones. And if I haven't said this often enough, I do love every one of you, uh, new or old. Some of you have been here since day one, which we started this cooking show in May. Uh, I love you for that. And the new people, uh, God bless you. You're gonna, you're gonna have fun here. This is a good community. These people are nice. The minute we have some kind of fire, they're gone. And we haven't had much. We, I think we've had one or two. So it's a community where you can feel very comfortable and then loved. And loved is the key word. And so, oh, without further ado, number two, number two. Oh my God, this guy has won before. Gift of Life Ministries, give it up for Pastor John K. Hennigan. He's got a church here in Albuquerque. Um, got new hours coming too. He's out there on uh, in Rio Rancho on Hunter Boulevard and he does a great job. John is a very good man of God, knows the Bible well and tells a great Bible story. So congratulations, John. You have won $200 compliments of the new Steve Henry Show. Number three, number three, we have another one. Don't go away, anybody. Oh my God, look at those numbers. Oh my God. You know, BB, I thought you won like a month ago too. BBZ, baby. Maybe you did, maybe on my memory, I don't remember much, but BBC, you are the winner. Congratulations of number three today. So we have three winners, that's wonderful. What, you want one more? One more? I don't know. I gotta got give a Jeep away next week and all these aprons. I'm gonna stop at three, but I'll tell you what, you don't wanna miss next week's show. Uh, does she love me? Will she marry me? Will she, uh, well, you know, or will he, or, or whatever. The bottom line is it's gonna be a beautiful plate where you propose. It's a proposal plate. You don't wanna miss that. I love every one of you. Thank you for carrying through our sound issue. We got that corrected. We'll figure that out in the meantime, but you should enjoy the new camera setup. The stevehenryshow.com or the new stevehenryshow.com is where you'll find the digital downloads, the cups, the merchandise, and any information that you need about this show that starts at 4 o'clock Mountain Time every Saturday live here in the studio. Without you, there is no show. I love you. I'll see you next week. It's going to be a great show. Let's end it right there. See you next week. Mm.